hey guys welcome to the new video and in this video we will be discussing about amazon s3 so quick thing about s3 if you just log in into the, to the amazon aws console uh, and search for s3 and this page will come up and it will give you different option to create the uh, bucket so create a bucket after that you have to upload it and you can set the permission that is the acls when we say create a new bucket this can be done through this console or programmatically similarly the upload of data you can do it manually or programmatically again and similarly is the permissions so when we say programmatically it will be done through the different apis which are being exposed by amazon s3 and uh, uh, we will be uh, looking through one more thing uh, you have to make sure uh, your user or uh, which your uh, which is being enabled in iam section of amazon s3 so that should be having all the uh, permissions to uh, use it so i have created uh, one of the user as uh, s3 admin it is having all the rights with s3 full access okay so you have to uh, add the uh, add the policies accordingly uh, you can search over here and uh, you can type s3 and since s3 full access is already added so that's why it is showing me s3 read only access so that is fine so that's why full access now without any further ado uh, i will i will i will uh, i will go back to my amazon uh, uh, s3 based use case so and this is very uh, very basic one so i will encourage you to go through the rest of the all these different options but uh, this is uh, this is just to uh, make you familiar with the different options available within the uh, s3 connector so as usual you have to search in exchange for the s3 connector just type s3 it will give glacier as well as the connector so we are uh, uh, concerned more about the s3 connector so we will click add uh, it will come up on the right hand side in my project i have used 560 because i was facing some issues with 561 so i will i will raise a uh, uh, support ticket with the uh, help.newsoft.com but uh, Uh, for this particular use case i will go with 560 so we are going to first create a bucket after that we are going to create a object and it will uh, go for a flow reference over here it will list all the buckets and get the bucket permission so the output of this particular option will be the uh, geography in which the bucket will be created okay so having said that let's uh, check the co configurations So we have to first establish the Amazon S3 configuration. You have to you have to click on this plus sign. A window will pop up, and you have to fill the SSK secret key as usual, along and along with the reason endpoint. So in our case, I have already done it. So if I click on on to this particular thing, and we'll go on test connection. So test connection is okay. So I will click all these things close and. Um, so this is uh, pretty much create bucket and this is we are going to create the bucket just give the name of uh, the bucket and uh, just remember uh, there should not be any capital names capital letters within the name of this bucket otherwise it will throw an error after that we are logging it like uh, bucket created along with the payload then the create object the s3 connector same along with the same bucket name and the india txt is the name of file which i am going to upload into this bucket and the content is india and after that we are going to log on the object created with the payload of this particular action then flow reference will be go and it will go to the list buckets list bucket is just you have to provide the reason after that we are going to log it and then the get bucket location that is the same bucket name and s3 configuration and then the logger so apart from this particular functionality we have multiple other things but uh, we can uh, it's been a bit difficult to cover all the aspects of s3 but it depend on the use case you can you can use the different things like uh, acls access control list um, you can uh, you can have something whenever a object is deleted it should trigger so on delete object is there list object is there get object acls you can get object and there are you can set the policies you can delete the object as well so 
there are multiple options available but the configuration will remain more or less same it also gives the course configuration so let me show you something if i go to s3 so currently it is blank so let's first trigger this guy i will go to console bar and i will right click and run the project so within the seconds it will be up and running so this is deployed i will clear up the console and go back to my postman i will give it a hit so us is the final uh, that is get bucket location apart from that bucket created object created list of buckets if you uh, check the bucket location it is us so all in sync so having said that let's go to the aws console so here is the aws console i will refresh it you will observe like this is the new one uh, bucket which has been created just click on this you will see this india txt which we have set up in create object section as key as india txt and content is india so if i click on this and if i click on open so it will it will uh, download the content and if i open the same content is available so this was just to give it txt but you can have the any format you can have json png uh, mp3 or any format of the data so uh, this was a very short video and just to demonstrate the basics of uh, aws s3 uh, there are multiple uh, options available operations available which we can um, go through and we can further explore but i will leave this to the discretion of viewers the audience and depending on the use case if you have uh, difficulty in any of these operations you can uh, reach out to me in the comment section of this video and i will try to sort it out so thanks for watching and have a great day